bodies to confirm this. The media's effort to prove this was frustrated by several factors. First, experts praised the federal government's response to Hurricane Maria at first. Puerto Rico Governor Ricardo Rosado himself praised the U.S. response. The president, the administration, every time we've asked them to execute, they've executed quickly. He said in September 2017. But Trump's critics have not given up. They have attempted to cite several of new studies, created new estimates of the real death toll of hurricanes. So here you have a computer model estimating this based on that estimate. Nobody has seen any bodies. George Washington University reports at 3,000 deaths. The media falls right in line and reports without checking, without confirming, just believing it because it's a bunch of academics saying so. Trump says it's not possible. Only 18 people have died when I left there. That's why they say excess deaths. Excess deaths are not necessarily related to the storm. They just happen after the storm. Could be related, might not be. It's just a bogus research study to go along with the fake news that Trump in the U.S. didn't care about Puerto Rico because they're people of color because Trump is racist and all that and didn't do anything to help the island. They're just lying. 
wish you could earn more on your money? Bank with Advantage Credit Union, and you can. Advantage offers the only free, unlimited cashback checking account in Portland. With Advantage Cashback Checking, you spend money, and you make money. Seriously, it's that simple. Get free, unlimited cashback checking in Portland, only at Advantis. Visit AdvantisCU.org and see for yourself. Advantis Credit Union. Correct. With us, you can. Account requirements apply. Federally insured by NCUA. Traffic and weather together just minutes from now at the top of the hour. News Radio 1190 KEX. That 3,000 death toll in the, in the Puerto Rico hurricane, it was all started by a story from CNN last November. What was going on last November? <laughs> Donald Trump was still in office. Why was the number 3,000 chosen, do you think? And it dovetails with the number of people who died on 9-11, doesn't it? It's a round number. It's easily remembered. Oh, yeah, 3,000 people. People think that's really bad. You hear about the 9-11 number, 3,000. 3,000 people hurricane. Wow. Did 3,000 people die in New Orleans? Did 3,000 people die in Houston? Did 3,000 people die 3,000 people when did it ever happen? But it's fake news. The media just reports it. Half of the media don't know the truth. They just soak it up like the brain-dead sponges that they are. They regurgitate it, repeat it, and they all end up believing it themselves. Let me get started on the phones. Mark, in the pathway of Hurricane Florence in Wilmington, North Carolina. Great to have you on the program, sir. How are you doing? Doing great. Actually, it's Wendell, North Carolina, towards several parts of the state. So a little bit of far away for it, but we're preparing anyway, just in case. So you're staying. You're not going to flee. You're not going to decamp. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of rain out here, so it's a little. Uh, it changed its path in the middle of the night, like you said. You were correct. Uh, it changes the path in the uh, middle of the night. So uh, you're, you're, you are 100% correct. And I want...